Welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Ahmad Hassan. Uh, I am very happy to, to be today with you. Um, today's session will be we'll be talking about uh, API penetration testing. What is exactly an API? What are the possible API vulnerabilities which you can face while you are doing uh, a vulnerability assessment or penetration testing? And uh, the well-known API OWASP top 10 list. Um, plus that we will face one real life api vulnerability uh, which has been discussed and also uh, discovered while uh, penetration testing so um i am ahmad hassan i am uh, working right now as a penetration tester and a consultant and i am the ceo of uh, titanium cyber security solutions um, offering uh, penetration testing, vulnerability assessment, and all these kind of services in the cybersecurity field. Uh, as a bug hunter, I uh, was able to uh, detect several vulnerabilities in uh, governments, in big companies as well, like NASA, Oracle, UK Department of Defense, and much more. Um, so, regarding the certifications, I am also um, having a huge amount of certifications starting with the OSCP which is a really well-known certificate um, the junior penetration tester professional pen tester uh, web application penetration tester as well as the web application penetration tester extreme and also um, other certifications as well so yeah when we come to the point and the, the API. So what stands for API? It's simply an application programming interface uh, allowing a PC for example to interact with a server with a server um, through a specific API or application programming interface and this application programming interface will be programmed by a programmer uh, allowing the programmer to give and uh, identify several points and several um, things he or she want to achieve uh, while using this API and uh, this is simply as you can see here um, something like a middleware or something in between uh, of two applications which want to communicate with each other so uh, as we know a developer um, may um, allow the application to inject or do malicious things and uh, that's why we as a penetration tester try to secure the application and the api um, so we can identify these vulnerabilities and report it to the developer so yeah simply uh, what is in general api penetration testing so if you are already in the cyber security field you know that uh, penetration testing stands for uh, trying to secure an application if it's a web application or a mobile application to identify the vulnerabilities and try to patch them before any attacker can try uh, to identify and exploit them this is simply the same um, in the api penetration testing part where we are simply trying to identify uh, several vulnerabilities uh, starting from uh, sql injection for example or in general uh, injection vulnerabilities uh, business logic vulnerabilities um, also uh, other like excessive data exposure which will be discussed in the next slides when we come to the api OWASP top 10 list so in general uh, i don't think um, the question why is it important um, is now that's really really hard to answer because we have already seen um, big companies which have uh, which has been hacked like um, gta uber due to some lack of um, security controls in their systems and therefore it can or it already um, published and the attacker was able to publish the source code which had a huge amount and a huge effect on the business of the company therefore this question is already clear for us 
and uh, yeah when we are talking about the different vulnerabilities which we can face while um, doing an API penetration testing um, we can start from the normal uh, security misconfiguration which is in any application web mobile uh, API um, but here we are specifically talking about the API penetration testing um, so here we have also the <clears throat> other things of the API like uh, injection vulnerabilities data exposure meaning um, the application is showing some of sensitive information some of the sensitive information um, and also giving you access to the vulnerability this simply uh, can be identified by uh, especially the manual inspection or the manual assessment which will be uh, the topic of today as uh, the automated uh, inspection and automated penetration testing can be done by the tools but let me also mention that um, the vulnerability assessment can't be only um, talking about uh, automation or automated pen testing because every pen tester knows that uh, all the vulnerabilities can be only identified by manual inspection especially when we are um, going to uh, discuss several vulnerabilities which will be in the next slides and will be shown in the next slides so uh, after that we have also uh, other vulnerabilities uh, like the object level authorization, uh, logging and monitoring, but we will not discuss every vulnerability itself. We want also, we want only to have a look at uh, the OWASP top 10 list and review the whole process together. Yeah, so here we will have a look at the API OWASP top 10 list. So, Yes, um, first of all, we can see the normal OWASP top 10. Um, and the normal OWASP top 10 is uh, responsible for showing the um, 10 highest security issues when we are talking about web applications. Um, on the other side, here we have the OWASP API security top 10 list, uh, starting from bro broken object level authorization, broken uh, user authentication, excessive data exposure, uh, lack of resources or rate limiting, um, mass assignment, um, security misconfiguration, which we have uh, mentioned before, um, injection, which is a, a really, really important uh, part of the uh, API testing, allowing us to inject, for example, cross uh, a, a JavaScript, um, leading to cross-site scripting attacks, HTML injections uh, and much more. So uh, this is just a list. Um, I know some of the words are maybe not really clear for you, um, but at my time I simply researched a little bit um, to understand the different points of the OWASP uh, top 10 list. So uh, this may help you in the future while you are doing uh, API penetration testing. Let me also mention that some of the vulnerabilities um, shown on the OWASP API security top 10 list um, may be also included in the uh, normal uh, OWASP top 10 list, but um, it could have another name or uh, another identification, but it's simply uh, the same content. Um, so um, for you, you can simply have a look at the website of um, OWASP uh, and OWASP is simply responsible for uh, listing these vulnerabilities and uh, especially looking at the API security endpoint which will um, list for you this um, OWASP API security top 10 uh, Excel sheet or um, the sheet where you can download it and have it. Yeah, so uh, this is uh, a simple and the real customer vulnerability um, I am just simply showing you first of all the request. Uh, here we are using a tool called uh, Burp Suite. If you uh, didn't hear about that before, um, it's simply responsible for um, intercepting the request and trying to see the request and response. 
and um, here we simply have something called the excessive data exposure that means excessive data exposure means simply that the application is showing us too much sensitive information and this uh, could be for example query text passwords uh, from the user or uh, the role the username updated password um, simply for example other IDs of other uh, users or um, we can achieve to have a look at that uh, while we are unauthenticated and this is um, simply a vulnerability or a, a security issue um, you will um, face a lot of time while you are doing API pen testing but this is simply uh, a request and you can identify that we are doing an API pen testing because you will see here the API slash anything behind but if you see this API request here or API endpoint um, from this point you know that you are dealing with an API and uh, API endpoint and try to find the vulnerabilities listed from before in the OWASP top 10 from the uh, API pen um, this is from the uh, demo use memos.com this is an application um, published on HunterDev. HunterDev is a website for uh, giving you the possibility to identify vulnerabilities and um, getting a CVE. Uh, and this is exactly what I will, uh, will show you the next slide. This is simply a video. Um, POC standing for, uh, for a proof of concept. This is a vulnerability. This has been also assigned a CVE and um, it was a simple vulnerability um, dealing with business logic errors um, but we will not have a look at that I will share with you um, the slides and uh, you can have a look at that as well as also the link um, up here you can have a look at so we was simply able to um, play with the commands, play with the, uh, with the patch, I mean changing also the request and response and uh, simply uh, identifying a vulnerability but as mentioned before uh, just simply have a look at that and um, the slide before where the vulnerability which will be shown in detail. So yeah um, I know this was quick, I know uh, this uh, wasn't really a, a huge or a big session for API um, but um, beside that thank you very much for your time uh, I wish you uh, can follow me on LinkedIn I post um, a lot of things, a lot of topics regarding cybersecurity, uh, web applications, bug bounty hunting, all this kind of information. Uh, feel free uh, to contact me at any time and uh, if you have any questions regarding this session or um, for example you want a second session uh, about API penetration testing, feel free to contact me and uh, we will try to uh, prepare a second session for you in this topic. Thank you very much for your time. I hope uh, you enjoyed the session. And uh, as mentioned before, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask them uh, in the comments or to directly contact me. Thank you very much and uh, wish you a wonderful day. Um, have a